Hi everybody, I'm Mitch Simmer here. So welcome back to Riverview Farm. So I'm just continuing on this afternoon from the last episode because at this point it doesn't quite matter when we're going to do the work and given that I'm hiring this out on field 42 I figured I've got workers ready to start right away so let's just get moving on things. And that way, if we just need to wait for strawberries later, we can go ahead and do that. But in the meantime, while they are harvesting the field, I'm going to be able to just take a look at what else I need to do on the farm. So the harvester is already moving along and has started the work. I am getting this vehicle over there for the other worker who will funnel this back and forth to the silo and we will then see where we are at but at this point like I could move oats to the cereal factory but without corn it doesn't really matter so I'm just gonna go ahead and let the harvest do its thing and then I'll move oats later on probably still in this episode we'll get it over there and get everything in there so that that group is ready uh, and I may, depending on what I start to see, also start getting flower production going so that we're ready to go there. So you can see there's the harvester moving along. So everything is really good there. Alright, so we've got this worker set. He's going on and I'm gonna go after the combine. I may need to check back here periodically to see what's happening. We can see the combine at the far end of the field over there. So at this point, I've got, I think there's eight that stay out here. Yes. So we got one, two, I'm just counting. Yep, so we've got 2,000 liters of strawberries that stay out. Plus you can see we're at 1,000 within the greenhouse. So that means we've got 6,000 liters outside and probably another 3,000 liters staged internally. We can store quite a bit inside since we're producing so much. I'm probably going to wait until I really have a lot of production, can fill a trailer, maybe even get close to filling a second one. I'm not quite sure that we can generate that many strawberries. Let's just uh, look at what we've got here. Again, VIP Order Manager is driving this series. We're at level 16, trying to earn that 231,000 pound bonus. We've got good progress on three of these orders. We have everything delivered for the planks. It's just the carpentry doesn't have space. So periodically we kind of have to go there. Uh, that's just kind of the way Farming Simulator works. It won't pull things. We have to, in essence, handle the, the uh, pallets again, and then it fills back up. So maybe late tonight I'll do that. But at some point, that order should be fulfilled. Again, we're waiting for the cereal, so we need to wait for the corn that I just planted earlier today to get going. So that hasn't even started growing. And then the strawberries. But we're trying... To, so we need some oats for this. We need oats, obviously, to fill the oat order. And then I'm going to use the oats to try to generate some flour. I mean, I definitely will generate flour. It's just, will I have enough oats? Because the one thing I overlooked in my excitement to keep moving on, I forgot to fertilize that field 42. So our yield is going to be lower than normally possible. So what I am going to spend time doing is I am going to go ahead and I am going to move some milk over to the dairy because we need to produce a good amount of cheese. So I need 13,000 liters of cheese there and I need another 13,000 liters of cheese a couple levels down. I have a little over 8,000 liters of cheese produced at the dairy already sitting there ready to go but obviously we want to make sure that we can fill that order if possible uh, immediately so I want to go ahead here and go ahead and move things so that the dairy can continue to produce and we can have at least the 13,000 ready to go at that point 
So the nice thing is the dairy has a really large staging area. I think if I looked correctly, I think it can put 14,000 out before it starts storing internally. So I do have a real possibility of going ahead and generating enough cheese here for both orders and having everything ready to go. So this is what I tend to do is try to make some progress every day before I just simply move forward because you know a way you could play with the VIP order manager would be just focus on what's going on this level don't pay attention to the other levels and then do that work when you're actively fulfilling that level but that would just require things take far far longer than they need to if you do good planning so trying to be a good farm manager I'm making sure that I'm running my farm as efficiently as possible and that the best way to do that is to go ahead and pay attention to what's coming. All right, I want to make sure. Uh oh. All right, I heard a beep earlier, and now I see why the harvester got stuck. And that's because it has the pipe out. So let me get by the tree here, and then we'll let it take off at that point. All right, we may end up missing a little bit here. But at this point, it might be best for it to go ahead and uh, cut some space out, which is what it will do now, and then it will go ahead and call that tractor. All right, just monitoring to make sure everything's going to work here as it should. And it may have actually taken care of itself uh, in that when it backed up to cut that, I think the part that... I missed or had to kind of go up on where I manually went. No, well, maybe not. All right, so sometimes auto drive does some crazy things. It's basically gone ahead and circled the combine. Uh, very interesting, but at this point it's in good shape. The biggest challenge it potentially has now is sometimes the combine starts to move before we're unloaded. All right, let me get back in here and continue with my delivery, and hopefully. By the time we come back here, uh, this combine will have come around the rest of the way because the other place it tends to get caught is when it puts its pipe out, it'll start to hit all those trees. But as long as it doesn't get to 20%, I think it'll be all right. So we'll definitely have to take a look at that and obviously deal with it there if it happens. So you can see here, we've got cheese out, as I said. And so I think that front pallet is in the process of being filled. When I checked it this afternoon, it was at 467 liters, so it's about half full. But we should be good here. Get some milk in. So I came back here to check on the combine. Just barely made it. Um, the tree you can see is further in behind that one. It just started to put its pipe out at the 20% call time right after it passed that tree so kind of dodged a bullet but at this point this should run pretty cleanly it's really that initial pass around the field sometimes the unloader gets stuck by the fence up there like it did before but other than that it tends to work pretty well cheese is running so you can see we need three milk to make two cheese so basically we're going to get um, you know, two-thirds of the 8,000 liters. I think about 5,400 liters or so forth, something like that, with what we have. And given that we need still over 13,000, because we need about, um, like I said, we have about 7,000 out there now. Actually, I think it's 8,000 out there now. So we need 18,000 in total so I need more than 18,000 liters of milk, but for now I'll just run a second load over and get 16,000 liters of milk into that dairy and let that keep cranking on. And then I am trying to still monitor the oil mill to try to stop production once I hit my 13,000 liters of canola oil. 
Well, I'm gonna go ahead and make that run with another tank of milk and I'll see you in a bit. Alright, heading back to the farm here you can see the harvester and the unloader working together there right on the other side of the hedges. Alright, so I've been doing quite a bit of work on the farm with these all this machinery. I'm going to go ahead as I come back here and I'm going to go ahead and pull in and get this repaired because I definitely need to do that. So, the perspective I probably need to do more of really is going ahead here and making sure that you know we get to enjoy the, the farm and the map a little bit more by seeing what we have going on. So we'll pull in here. So 4,200 pounds of repairs. Just a tiny bit on the trailer there. But not too bad. So we got our seed that we left. We now don't have all that wool because we've just gone ahead and placed that. And then we'll come around and we'll go ahead and we'll get that tanker back where it was in the event I need it, but that way it's out of the way. But this is really just used to transport the milk. We used to haul water, but once I put that automatic irrigation into my greenhouses, I no longer need to do that. And so at this point, this has become a dedicated milk tanker. All right, so we're here. So the other possibility we're going to start to run into is that these productions fill up. Now, once again, this has room to still stage the furniture out here, so we'll be fine. But we should be able to get some more of these planks consumed. A little bit, but not a whole lot. So you can see 824 still to go. So as I said, uh, we'll look at it. It'll, it'll likely run into tomorrow easily before it consumes everything. The furniture production is not the fastest thing, but you can certainly hear them working away inside. All right, so the only other thing we've got, we have 1,600 liters of oats, really not enough to do anything with. So it's not really worth worrying about that, even getting that down to the flour mill. That'll probably be gone pretty quickly, and we need a lot more than that. So at this point, we're kind of back in that waiting game. We're waiting for our strawberries to produce. We're getting our oats harvested, but I wanted to get going on that right away. And then here, we've got our corn growing, but you can see it's just stage one of six here. So we've got six, seven months to go before we're going to be able to harvest this and get going on the cereal. So as you can see, we're going to have some movement that we need to make here. But the biggest question, as I jump back in here to the work of the moment, is what is going to happen off of this field? I'm feeling a little more confident in the fact that I think that trailer's looking like it's getting relatively full. I think for sure this is going into what would be the third unload, which should probably be meaning that we're getting to... 27 to 30,000. If I jump over here, so right there, as you saw, exactly right, 28,000. So when I ran canola off this field a couple times, we had a large enough set of orders because I needed basically 280,000 liters. And I had to run this field twice. And I'm trying to remember, I may have actually had to have my little fields also producing canola because I think I was only getting about a hundred and twenty thousand off this field so you know it remains to be seen if we're gonna get that much oats off this field right now but the hundred thousand which would I think be the absolute minimum we need to not have to plant more oats to fulfill the orders we do see I think we have a good shot at this because we're still doing our headland passes. I've got four headland passes I need to do to go ahead and make all of this work out. But I think yeah, I think we're starting the fourth one here. That's what it looks like. 
So we're at 30,000. That's probably a quarter of the field at this point by the time we get around. And once again, look, that, that's been three times around, and we've got 30,000. Now we're going to get a little bit less because this loop on the inside is smaller. I did have my fill limiter set to 29,000, so that was when we went ahead and... Um, I forget, honestly, what we were filling, but I had to go ahead and get, I think, 69,000 over or something, so I did the full load. I think that was the... Um, was the crop that was on the small fields. Was it barley? I don't remember. <laughs> How quickly we forget. Like, once I fill the orders, out of my mind. Um, but whatever it was that we were, we were running, um, I know we had harvested it, we had it going ahead and filling, so we grabbed the 40,000 off the field, and then we had to finish by going back to the silo because I think we got about 11,000 more off of the field and then we had to go replenish and it may have been um, uh, it wouldn't have been oats I don't know it doesn't really matter what it is but I had a limit of 29,000 so it was going to already start heading to the silo which doesn't make a whole lot of sense so now I've removed the limit so now the full capacity of the 40,000 is going to be accessible there we're going to get here, and obviously they're going to empty, hopefully before we hit the corner. It should empty a little bit, because as soon as it hits a turn, sometimes it's not that great at following. This should be a smaller turn, uh, but yeah, we've already got 500 liters out. It's going pretty quickly. But there we go, accumulating a little bit more, and then it should try, but I think it doesn't make it before the next turn, because by the time it puts the pipe back out, um, it's just going to be too late before we get to the end of the field. But at this point, I'm going to go ahead and uh, let this keep working. My intent is, I think these workers are, they don't care how long they work, they just want to get paid. So they're probably going to work through the night. You know, my hope is, come morning, we're going to have this field harvested, and we're going to know what we got off this field, at least approximately. So I'm going to step away at this point, and I'll see you in a bit. Amazingly, the workers got done with everything before the end of the day. I was really expecting it to take longer than that, but uh, very pleased that they were able to be that effective. So I'm bringing this last load. This is the third trip. I think the first time it came back not quite full. So uh, we're really close on the 100,000. So um, again, not fertilizing may cause me extra work. So hopefully I'll learn my lesson for next time if we've got any crops that we need to just try to maximize things so I don't have a problem. So there's no way to get to productions and say, hey, I'm only going to dump this amount. The only thing we can do is the fill limits on this end. So I'm going to first set 8,000, because that's our first need. And that will be of oats. So there we go. Wow, 104. Like, we're just over. So this is going to be interesting. And that 8,000 is because we need 8,000 liters of cereal. So to get 2 liters of cereal, I need 2 liters of oats, so it's 1 to 1. So for 8,000 liters, or 8,000 liters of cereal, I need 8,000 liters of oats. So that is what I am taking over to the cereal factory. But once again, no production can begin until I get the matching 8,000 liters of corn over there, which is going to take us very close to the end of the year, if not all the way there. But it seems about right, as I said, so it seems like maybe the canola and the oats were very similar in yield in that fully fertilized, I probably would have gotten closer to 120, 135, 
you know, 120, 130 or so. Uh, I should be able to get in front of this car, although this is how I get myself in trouble, or I get hit or whatever, but like sometimes I'm driving all the way back, there's nothing, and then suddenly there's something. But at this point, where we probably are going to be at is waiting for strawberries. Well, and obviously waiting for corn, but I don't think the strawberries are going to run faster than that in any way. I mean, seven months is a while, but, you know, and then obviously we got to wait for the cereal to produce, so... There may be some additional time there, but we'll see how everything pans out. Whoops, hitting the building there. Got a little too close. It's just, yeah, the way they place this factory in town, there's not a lot of space to do things, so. But luckily it works. So there we go, 8,000 oats, hopefully enough raisins. The honey we had to put in that much so otherwise we would have only needed 4,000 liters of honey but we had a VIP order for this location to go ahead and give 10,000 liters so I just need corn after that we should be good so cheese is producing and then I'm gonna need 9,000 liters of canola so I'm still uh, as far as the storing amount so I'm getting close uh, I'm getting the 1300. We'll see if I will be okay there. You can see it, it kind of ticks up pretty quickly. It keeps making a liter every few seconds, but that's because it's got some significant cycles. We've got more furniture output, so went down, used a, another three, four hundred planks, so we're getting really close. So I'm going to tuck in for the night. Now that this is done, I'll clean up the harvester later and so forth, get it back. Because at this point, we don't have any plans for that field, because I don't have any large crops that I need. So I'll see you in a bit. Good morning. So I've just gone ahead and deactivated the oil mill, because we have all the canola oil we need. So last night before I went to bed, I came back, brought the trailer so that we would be ready to then move my next load of oats. So if I've done my math correctly, oat flour is 15 oats, gives me 19 liters of flour. I need 39,000 liters of flour. I already have 3,464 liters. So I needed basically 28,060 liters. So I've loaded that into the trailer to take to the grain mill this morning, and I'm short less than 300 liters for what I need. So the bug bit me. Without the fertilizer, I'm short. Serves me right, I suppose, right? Turn off the lights, but yeah, getting an early start just to get things going, because hey, if the grain mill can start doing its thing it'll make sure that we're done so i gave myself a tiny bit of extra i think i could have gotten by with 55 instead of 60 but once again i'd rather not have to make the drive down to the grain mill with four or five liters of uh of uh, oats in the trailer i'd burn more fuel and everything else than i'm gonna make money on so try to make this as easy as possible. So I should be fine. Um, I'll just plant one of the small fields, nine or ten at the top. Probably just do nine. You know, obviously we'll be able to see... well, we may not be able to see, so I'll probably just plant nine and we'll go with that because I, I don't need to plant more than I need. You know, I've already probably done that with corn, but I'm also banking on the fact that maybe maybe I'll need some other things. Maybe I'll keep needing cereal. And if I keep needing cereal, I'm going to need more oats. I'd have to do more anyway. But I can get 267 liters, which I think is what I need, of oats off of almost anything. I could plant a garden in the backyard and... Uh, and, and have that work and hand seed it, maybe, but we're not going to do that. So, 
a little bit frustrated at myself, certainly, because that could have easily been avoided if I would have had a any kind of yield increase. I mean, heck, if I even had a 5% yield increase, that would have been thousands of extra liters on that field. And instead, um, I'm short a bit. So I knew it was going to be close, but it's amazing how close it is. So the grain mill is up over there. Um, you can kind of see it, I think, the roof. It's up the hill. If you remember, it's a little bit of a challenge to get to. This is the Massey, so it's my biggest tractor. So if anything is going to make it, this will make it. But we head toward the oil mill. we got to get across the river, but then we go to the left instead of staying on the road here and going to the oil mill. So it's kind of along that little black ridge line that you see, and so that blue dot up north near field 29 is where we're headed. So if you've not been on this map or not followed along with this series, we've been here before, but if you're new to this, this uh, at least lets you know where we're headed. So we're going to follow this road around and it's just up on that plateau a little bit so it does require a bit of climbing and we're not full though so we probably have a good amount of weight saved and so forth and this is it here so we'll go head on up and as you can see we are struggling a bit <laughs> Wheels are spinning, but I think once we get past this turn, I think it flattens out a bit. So it's really just that initial hill that is a problem. I'm trying to do some cinematic perspectives, so I'm not zooming in on purpose. I could obviously have gotten closer, but there is our unload point. But we have made it to the grain mill. Whoa! Oh, wait a minute. I didn't think of that. I have flour out here. Oh, I'm going to have to drive back, but that's totally worth it. So we have what? One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So let's redo this. So I'll see you back here after I do everything. So I have 6,000 plus I have the 3,000 in the factory. So yes, I'm fine now because I don't need 200 and the 6,000 uh, liters of flour is going to more than make up for the 267 liters of oats. So, again, I can't dump specifically. I don't have to be super accurate, but I'm just not going to take any chances. So, I'll see you back here in a bit. All right, I am back. So, it took me the better part of an hour. I had to get back. I had to do some math, figure out what was going on, and, you know, we're now back with the appropriate... Oh, I'm going to have to back out of here. I'm not going to be able to turn, so... Let's see. Am I... I must somehow be off, so... Let me exit there. There we go. I don't know why it wasn't giving me that option, but you can see 23,325 and more importantly, we have over 69,000 liters of oats left. So, no need for additional oats. This will immediately start producing. I thought I had it activated. I didn't. But now it will start producing. So, we're going to take all that. And you can see, it's already made. Four liters of oats. So, that is good stuff. Let's see. I'm going to go this way. And I think maybe heading out. Uh, there's not really a way to head out. I forgot how tight this place is. Um, Alright, let me get myself out of here. And I'll get myself back to the farm. And I think we may be at our limit. But I will see you there.
So in the event we do need crops, I am a bit excited in that there was a new Case IH Cedar that came out in the last couple weeks on Mod Hub that I think will be perfect. It will work in these small areas, so maybe we don't get to use it on this map. Maybe we're going to have to wait until we move, because again, right now there isn't a need for any kind of crops and you know maybe that'll be the teaser for next time but um so let's see let me set this well i'm up here so let me make this 18,000, which is what i can do with silage So we'll get that filled up. It's going to take a bit here. Alright, I did want to take a peek. So we've still got 80,000 or so, so maybe 70,000 liters. And we probably still are above 80. So we're okay on the silage for a bit. But once again, with the dairy barn needing to give me some slurry, we may be heading back to grass work again and so forth to be functional on the farm appropriately. Oops, it did hit the trigger. I was thinking it wouldn't at all and I was thinking I was going to have to back up. But we'll get the silage filled and then we're going to go ahead and put that back to 11,000 because that's what we need. Whoa, wait a minute. Interesting. Hmm. I wonder if it'll let me pick up hay. Maybe it'll convert this. So I'm going to do a little bit of the FS22 magic. Hopefully it'll work. Because um, if not, I can't put silage back in there, and it's not going to run without any hay. So I've got a bit of a conundrum here that I'd rather not solve with some craziness. So I'm confused as to why uh, it's full, but it must have had a little bit of silage left and I missed that. So I guess what it really ran out of was hay. But we'll know very quickly if it's going to let me do this. Alright, it just scrapped it which is okay. Um, it comes from grass. It's not like it cost me anything substantial. The grassery grows. It does its thing. So it all works. So I know when I went across this field before, it didn't give me, I didn't need the whole row to get 11,000. So sure, I'll be fine. In some cases, and I think if it's truly like if I have grass or hay, like I think if you start picking up one or the other, it does convert it. But in that case, it just threw it out, which is all right. Well, I'm not going to hit 11,000 with one row here. Interesting. Am I not remembering properly? Somehow I don't think that's correct. I'm pretty sure I am. Now again, I forget what I'm saying five minutes ago sometimes, so you guys are like, yeah, you probably did forget, given she can't even keep track of what you're speaking about. Alright, so we're also obviously going to probably need to mow these fields, get some hay down. I'm trying to remember if I have grass on the other field already sitting around. We'll start worrying about that when we need to. Right now, I'm again just trying to get enough done. Because the other thing I need to check then before I finish up for today is do I need to get more TMR over? Because even if I only have 18,000 liters, like that may be enough to avoid the production downfall. And that would obviously be crucial. So let's see. There we go. So now it'll start producing. Because, yeah, if I could go put silage back in that fermenting silo, that'd be one thing, but it doesn't really let us do that. 
All right, they, oh goodness, they already are empty. They produced a little bit. They produced like another 13,000 liters of slurry. I mean, I'm not surprised they're empty. I've had all day. But this is exactly why I need to keep things moving. Because first off, generating 464,000 liters of slurry is going to take a lot of TMR. All right, 18,871 should get me through I would hope a day I mean now that this is producing I mean I've usually been able to do okay as long as I just don't again get excited and say hey I need the greenhouses to produce and I fast forward through three months so that's gonna be the difference is I am gonna have to take the time to run TMR over here you know and with the small equipment certainly is not simple you know, with what I'm doing in Farmers Only Club, for example, you know, I don't have a 150,000 liter trailer here, nor does that TMR mixer produce that. So at this point, we'll be good with that. So we now have 18,000, but you can see that barely makes a dent in anything. And the problem is, like, they eat a little bit, but they don't really start generating anything until they get to a certain point. So it's just an incredibly inefficient use of, of resources. If I can find a way to do it better, that would be great. So it doesn't look like I have any grass sitting around. You know, sheep are producing wool. They're almost out of food, but I don't need more wool now, I don't think. Let me just double check. There's no wool, there's no clothing or anything, and I think part of that is the productions don't exist on this map. And obviously I haven't placed them on my farm, so I think, you know, if I had a spinnery to produce something, it might ask for things, and therefore then, you know, that would create some additional needs. Alright, we're down to 35 planks. I kind of almost feel like we should wait like this is a milestone getting another VIP order done alright we're down to two planks let's see one plank we're gonna get the green in a moment I can feel it I can hear them working away inside There we go. So we theoretically have a little bit extra, which is not a bad thing. But there we go. Zero planks. We're now green on that VIP order. So it's one of those, like, you know, while we knew we were good, it's, it's good to be official. It's good for the VIP to tell us that wanted the planks. Yep, you've completed this. We're good to go. So for this level, Strawberries is going to be the next focus, so I'm assuming, I think next time we're together, we're going to be dealing with corn and strawberries, because I'm going to certainly not be done, but I'm going to start making those deliveries. Again, I, I don't, I probably won't show a whole lot of that, because it's just the same type of thing. Taking that down to the bakery, which is a little bit of a drive, but certainly there's worse places to take the trailer to when I've got to go there eight or nine times. We've got that, but we're in better shape. And I think everything else we've got that we can get going, I mean, other than I could start cutting trees down and leave them laying around, but that doesn't make any sense. I think everything else that I can have going is going. We obviously just got the flour mill cranking away, the grain mill on the flour. Uh, we've got the dairy doing cheese. We're done with our canola. Again, we have plenty of straw for now. We might need more later. That might create a need for crop. We'll see. But right now, I think we're in decent shape. It just, yeah, am I going to be able to generate 464,000 liters of slurry with 200,000 liters or so of straw, which I think is best case probably the, the buffer I have there. But we'll figure that out as we get closer so more importantly uh, get me some feedback on 
a couple things. What should be good ep good episode lengths or good series lengths for this VIP series going forward? You know, your overall thoughts, knowing that I'm probably comfortable and, and, and I am planning, if I don't get any feedback, to just keep pressing forward to level 20. You're also starting to see we're moving along pretty quickly, and so, yeah, there's a gating factor in each one of these levels for the most part, but I think we're in a good space to actually move pretty fast. Because, I mean, we're done with the oats. We certainly will be done with the cheese. Wood's not hard to get done. We've got plenty of trees to deal with, so, you know, it's going to be the lettuce and the flour here, and then, obviously, it's, it's going to be the lettuce here, because everything else we have for level 18. So I think we move pretty quickly, so even if we choose to go through level 20, unless level 20 gives us something, or that slurry takes way, way more work than we think, uh, this may not be that long anyway before we hit the goal. So with that, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up, and I will see you next time.